Forest Pack 8 came with four new effects that could be used to add new features to path distribution mode. Before we get to the effects though, here's a quick recap on path distribution. You use this mode when you want to distribute objects along a spline. In this scene, for example, I'm going to use it to create rows of trees in an orange orchard. I already have the trees in a forest pack object, so to use path distribution mode I'll go to the distribution rollout and change the mode to path. Then click on plus and add the splines to the list, and it's as easy as that. You can then change the spacing and add a bit of randomization if you like. It's important to remember that you can still use this in conjunction with surfaces. So to project the items onto this terrain for example, you just go to the surfaces rollout and add the terrain to the list of surfaces in the usual way. So that's already really useful, but since we've released this feature we've had several requests to add additional controls to allow you to combine it with the include and exclude areas that you're used to, as well as using spline and surface material IDs. To accomplish this, Forest Pack 8 included four new effects. Here's how to use them. So first of all, there are two new effects that allow you to combine path distribution mode with include and exclude areas. To demonstrate, I'll show you how to use a closed spline to remove some trees to create a driveway leading up to this house. So go to the effects rollout and add a new effect. Then open the effects library and find the path distribution group. There are two related effects here. One is called inside of spline and the other outside of spline. The one you choose depends on how you want to use the closed spline to affect the path distribution. So to keep the items that fall outside of the spline, you choose the outside spline option. And to keep the items that fall inside the spline, choose the inside spline option. It's pretty self-explanatory really. In this case, we want to use a spline to remove a section of trees for the driveway. So we'll choose outside spline because we want to retain the ones outside of the spline. In the parameters list, choose the spline you wish to use to exclude objects. And that's it. If you want to add additional splines, you can either attach them together or add multiple effects. For example, I'll add another effect to remove the trees from around the house. So as you can see, I'm just adding another effect, then choosing the same outside spline preset, picking the other spline, and now it's basically as though we have two stacked exclude splines. It's also possible to limit the path distribution to splines or parts of splines based on their material IDs. To illustrate this, I'll change one of the splines in the foreground to use a material ID of 2. The others remain set to 1. And now I can add a new effect and open the effects library. This time I'm going to pick limit to spline material ID. And once that's loaded in the parameters list, you can now control the material ID that is used to retain the objects. So if you set it to 1, it removes items from the spline with an ID of 2. And as you'd expect, if you change the material ID value to 2, then it only uses this single spline with that value. And the final effect allows you to remove plants based on a material ID assigned to the surface. To illustrate this, I'll select the terrain surface and then marquee select an area of polygons. I'll change the material ID of these to 2 and leave the others on 1. Now back to the forest pack object, I'll add another new effect and this time open the effect browser and choose limit to material IDs surfaces. In the parameters rollout you can now choose which material IDs will be used to retain objects. Setting this to 1 will use the majority of the surface, excluding the section I just changed to use ID 2. Conversely, setting the effect parameter to 2 flips this so that only the polys with material ID 2 retain the items. Path distribution was already a handy way to create scatters, but with the addition of these four effects, we hope you'll find the mode is even more flexible. <laughs>